Hello, my munchers. It is I, Gut Muncher Zero, and I play Final Fantasy XIV: A Realm Reborn slash Heaven's Ward slash Online. And we're working on the miner again today, and we're going to try and hit level 25 today. I'm going to have to split this up over two episodes because it took a couple hours. And right now, we're opening up a new node that I've never opened, and we've got an Alamon and Raw Malachite. But uh, the problem is that in order to open those up, I only have like a 25% shot at it, or 35. So what I have to do is I have to use my highest level uh, gathering. So I get my gathering up. It costs 250 GP. And I hit it, and I got, ooh, I got uh, high quality, and it's raw fluorite. So I have alumin, malachite, and raw fluorite. And I need to get uh, HQ on the Alamon um, because my grand company wants it. And speaking of grand companies, I keep forgetting to use this or to tell you about it. Uh, the grand company will sell this manual. And uh, it'll actually give you... Well, I have some more manuals, too, that I got as part of a deal there. But this manual here you can buy. And it'll give you 180 minutes, 3 hours of additional 50% XP for everything you do as a gatherer, for all your gathering uh, actions. So that's really useful. And uh, I also have got 20%, uh, I think, for my feathers. I don't have any resting XP, it looks like. And there I leveled up, and I got Stone Whisper 3, and that actually increases my ability to get HQ items, so that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to Keep hitting my HQ gathering on this stuff until I get, uh, uh, I think it was 10, until I get 10 of those Alamon HQ. And then we're going to go turn those into the Grand Company and get just a whole bunch of XP for that as well. And we'll also get some uh, seals, which are, you know, Grand Company script that's used to buy stuff from the Grand Company. And so I'll see you in a second. And we're here. Ta-da! The Steps of Nald. I'm actually thinking about changing my grand company to the one in uh, New Gradania. Um, I picked this one because my friend Ren and his brothers actually were members in this one. But they've all split up into different ones already. So I don't know why I keep coming to Ulda. I don't really like Ulda. I would never come here. So I want to make sure I turn in the HQ ones. And it was 10. And as you see, turning in HQ, I just got like 50,000 XP, isn't that nice? So I've already almost leveled up. So I'm level 21 now, and I've almost already leveled up to level 22 just from getting 10 items. Isn't that cool? So I really love that. That's a good trick, and I really recommend it. And plus, using the extra 50% XP, I don't think that stacks on top of that XP that I got from the Grand Company. Well, it didn't, because you would have seen it. I would probably have gone already up a full level doing that. However, uh, I mean, the two things in concert are really going to help. So I'm just going to keep hitting these nodes here until I hit 99 regular items and however many random uh, uh, HQ items that I get from doing that. And uh, that's just kind of my modus operandi. Um, it helps you level up, as you see. So now we're level 22. And uh, also, uh, you can sell this stuff here. This is low-level mining stuff. And so, if I'll be able to sell this in stacks of 99. Uh, I'm not really sure how much you'll get for this stuff. Um, I'll check that out later. Uh, a friend of mine pointed out that the stuff that you can use, like uh, the mudstone and the limestone, that those types of stones that are used in some of the crafting more, more often, that those sell at a much higher price than the other ones. And also, I'm pretty sure you can buy, like, fluorite. Uh, pretty sure you can buy that from NPCs. Really cheap, like, for, like, one gill. Ooh, I got clear vision. Oh, okay, now, so I'm level 23. And uh, I looked this up because I was like, what is clear vision? I never heard of that one before. Apparently, after Heaven's Ward, they've added some different, uh, they've added some different actions. Um, there's this new thing in Heaven's Ward now called Collecting. And we're going to get into that because I just unlocked it with my botanist. My botanist is level 59. Uh, my dragoon, who's my main, 
character is actually only level 57 because the botanist just to me was easier to level up um but i've almost i've got like 20 quests left story quests left to do actually in heaven's ward with my dragoon and uh i need to work on that i'll probably do that today after i finish editing this video and uh but i want to hit level 60 because i found out that once you hit level 60 with one of your characters all your other characters who are under level 50, I think, get like a 50% XP bonus always. So that is going to be awesome. And uh, now that I found that out, I probably am going to wait and do that before I start working on my miner from uh, 25 to 30. Because now, as you see, oh, hey, I've got company. That's one of the neat things about this game. You know, you run into people. And uh, I edited it out. I edited it out, if I could talk. But earlier, but, uh, you know, I get a bunch of cordial, which is what you can use to give you back your GP. Uh, I get that from some of my botany stuff that I do from a guy in Mordana named Talon. And uh, I can mine these, uh, this, uh, or I can harvest this uh, one node with my botanist. Uh, it's an unspoiled node, so it only appears uh, once an hour. But uh, I can harvest it and get 15 of these logs, and five of them gives me a bottle of cordial. So any hour that I'm playing, if I think about it and I go there, uh, I can earn uh, up to three bottles of cordial. So it's pretty cool. And uh, it's not difficult at all. Uh, so very often I've got like 99 bottles of cordial on me. Uh, cordial gives you 300 GP, which is the fuel you use to do your gathering. Uh, but there's a cooldown on four minutes on it. Uh, but it's really good, especially when you start doing uh, the unspoiled mode mining or, or botany to, to get that and be able to make it. Oh, look, monkeys. So next episode, so now I've got 99 of each of those three things. And next episode, we're going to go get some uh, effervescent water and silver ore. But I'll catch you next time. See ya.